Hey guys, this is Austin. Today in Brooklyn, Apple announced two brand new Macs, a Mac Mini as well as a completely refreshed MacBook Air, which is helpful when, you know, you don't update your computers for a few years. The last MacBook Air was a big deal. It really did change the way a lot of laptops look and feel even to this day, and thankfully we actually finally have a modern version of it. You know, it's got a retina display like every other laptop has had for the last few years. With a 13.3 inch 2560 by 1600 resolution, this looks leagues, miles, light years, way, way better than the last generation MacBook, which still had a low resolution TN panel. Honestly, that was the biggest issue with me with using the MacBook in 2018. It just looks so old and dated, and has thankfully been fixed this year. The rest of the laptop looks a lot like a mixture between the 12 inch MacBook and the 13 inch MacBook Pro. On the left side, we do get Thunderbolt 3 ports. We have two of them, which are thankfully both fully enabled, unlike the standard 12 inch MacBook, which only has USB-C. And on the right side, we still have the headphone jack. That joke will make a lot more sense if you watch our iPad video, which is live on Instagram TV right now, which thankfully, or unthankfully, dropped the headphone jack for some weird reason. You should go check that out. Link in the description. Where things get a little bit more interesting is when you look inside the MacBook. So now we have a single option for a CPU. It is an eighth generation Core i5 processor. However, it is fanless with only two cores as opposed to quad cores like most other systems. Now that is largely due to the fact that this is an incredibly lightweight laptop, but it still doesn't really give you a lot of options. The MacBook Air is not going to be a powerhouse anytime soon. The trend continues when you look at the rest of the options. There are very few different configurations of the MacBook Air. So it does come in three colors, silver, space gray, as well as gold. But as far as actual specs go, you've always got that Core i5, and your only real options are either 8 or 16 gigs of RAM, and somewhere between 128 gigs of storage, all the way up to 1.5 terabytes. Can we talk about that for a second, though? 128 gigs of storage, that's just not enough in 2018. Now, sure, if you use this as a glorified netbook or something that's very, very uh, sort of focused, I guess, on web browsing, I don't know, why would anyone... I can't even come up with the reason why anyone would want 128 gigs of storage. The worst part is, it's still $1,200 with that 128-gig SSD. If you want to get something that's a little bit more usable, you have to step up to the $1,400 version, which does have 256 gigs of storage. Take a look at the keyboard, trackpad, and speakers, and this will look very familiar if you're used to the 13-inch MacBook Pro. So it does have the new third-generation butterfly switches. They still don't feel amazing, but at least these shouldn't get all jammed up with like dirt and dust and stuff. And the trackpad, as always, is pretty much as good as it gets. Now, I wasn't able to try the speakers in the very loud hands-on area, but again, if it's anything like that 13-inch, it should sound really nice. Also, I forgot to mention, it does come with Touch ID, so it's built into the power button, but it does not have the touch bar like the larger MacBooks. Apple still claims a full 12 hours of battery life, which should be pretty accurate. The old MacBook Air was definitely an endurance champ. And beyond that, the actual size of the laptop has gotten a little bit smaller, and it actually is noticeably lighter, which is impressive, considering that the old MacBook Air was definitely light already. These MacBook Airs are available for pre-order starting today, and they will be going on sale on November 7th, starting at that sweet, sweet price of $1,200. Yeah. They also still sell the old MacBook Air too if you really want to go old school or spend less than $1,000. <laughs> there are a lot of rumors that this MacBook was going to be cheap, right? People are throwing around like 800 bucks or 1000 $1,200 is not a crazy price. I mean, it's better than the old MacBook, but it's just a little disappointing to not see it just a little bit farther down the range, probably because the $1,000 price point is now taken up by the bigger iPad Pro. So that's actually, to be fair, it's probably a more powerful system. <laughs> Moving on to what actually might even be more exciting for me personally is the brand new Mac Mini. If you take a look at it on the outside, it looks basically identical. And that's true because the chassis hasn't really changed besides they've changed the color over to space gray. On the inside though, this is a way more exciting system. So if you guys will remember our last video on the Mac Mini, you'll know that it was a little bit underpowered because it was essentially a MacBook Air and a shell. However, this year we've got actual full desktop processors. So it starts out with a quad core Core i3, but you can option this out with a Core i5 or Core i7 both of which have six cores to work with. That's a lot of power for a little tiny Mac Mini. Can you feel my excitement? Because I'm, I'm ready. The extra power makes a big difference, especially considering that there's a lot of other properly pro-level features that you can get with the Mac Mini. So starting out with, it does have four Thunderbolt 3 ports, so you can easily connect an external GPU. So we did see a demo of Final Cut running really nice and smooth with the full six core processor, tons of memory, and that external GPU. But on top of that, we've got some serious specs too. 64 gigs of RAM and two terabytes of SSD are all options. And if you want to go full Linus Tech Tips on it, you can option the Mac Mini with a 10 gig Ethernet port, which is kind of a big deal 
deal. So by the standard, it does have a one gig port as well as uh, two USB A's, HDMI, and those four Thunderbolts. But for $100 to upgrade to 10 gigabit ethernet, that's a really big deal. I know personally for us, we're totally going to be using this as our ingest station to be able to not only back up footage, but also to dump it to our server. Just like the Air, the Mac Mini is available for pre-order and you can pick it up on November 7th. However, unlike the MacBook Air, it's actually a lot cheaper. This guy starts at $800. Don't let that fool you though, because that's what the Core i3. You can actually max out the Mac Mini at over $4,000 if you throw everything at it, including the memory, the SSD, the whole works. So yeah. And that, my friends, is almost everything that was announced at the Apple event today. The other main thing was the brand new iPad Pro, but we did an entire video on Instagram TV talking about that. So definitely be sure to go check that out at the link in the description. And while you're there, maybe take a look. We actually have been doing a lot of IGTV videos lately.